Computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to use Twitter on a computer, the step by step guide, everything you need to know. Without further ado, let's start the video. So, in this tutorial, you need to have access to a computer. We are using a Mac. We also need access to a Twitter account. So, we can now go all the way down to the dock, go to Safari. Go to your Twitter account. Make sure you are signed into the account. Before we start the tutorial, let's now open up a new tab. Go to YouTube Studio. Go within content. Now let's filter for how to use Twitter on a computer. Enter on all the videos that I have done should now be on screen. Let's just filter by date again. And as you can see, I have small, short videos that may assist yourself when it comes to watching how to use Twitter on a computer. For this tutorial that you are currently watching, this will be another short video. However, everything will be explained within five to ten minutes but before watching this video if you wish to watch all the other videos that explain everything step by step please go ahead and click the link in the description below to see the playlist of 46 videos I'm still yet to carry on with this tutorial as part of the playlist and so we can now quit YouTube Studio, go back to Twitter and carry on with the tutorial. So the first thing you see on screen is everything in the frame. Left hand side navigation menu, your Twitter tweets and feed, everything. On the right hand side is the search bar, photos, what you may like, what's happening. Bottom right corner is the messages. Let's now go back to the left hand side navigation menu, home, click on home and these are all the tweets that are coming into the timeline, go to explore what's happening, notifications, messages, bookmarks, lists, back to your profile, click on more, we can go to topics, moments, newsletters, Twitter, ads, Analytics, Media Studio, which is something that I'm seeing for the first time. Settings and Privacy, the Help Center, Display, Keyboard Shortcuts. And then the most important feature of Twitter is being able to tweet. We can use Schedule Tweets to tweet. And then when we are not sitting at the screen, that tweet will be made live. Let's just look at the Schedule Tweets available for myself. So we have a tweet going live today at seven o'clock. Once that were to go live, I would then come back and reschedule about 10 tweets for the next 10 days. Let's go back. So now we are on the profile. To edit the profile, click on edit profile. We can change, edit the banner, the profile photo, the name, the bio, location, website, the date of birth and here we have all the tweets I have tweeted 2774 times let's go to tweets and replies let's go to media 716 photos and videos likes 46,000 times that I have liked other tweets to get my name onto their page great way to advertise yourself the more you like, the more they may like you. Yes. Let's go back to tweets. Let's write a tweet. So, how are we all doing today? Let's also include a hashtag. Let's 
then I would tweet this out, click on tweet, and that's gone live, made on my page, and then people would acknowledge, comment, retweet, like, share. We can also check the analytics for that tweet itself. Let's go to more analytics and see how the page itself is really doing. Very good. We can filter by date, time to see how the account is really doing. And that's all for another video because we may need to explain everything in full. And so the video you're watching today is just a short and snappy quick video to show the user, the customer, the client, how they can use Twitter on a computer and get the best experience out of the platform itself. And so, we can now quit Safari. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. Thanks for now.